Hello, good morning, folks. Uh, welcome back to Rod's VW Garage. Uh, this morning, this morning, we're going to work on our 57 um, uh, standard here, or sedan. Uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to treat, or I'm going to uh, paint most of these uh, 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 body panels on the inside. Uh, and... On the bottom of the fenders, the inside of the car, it already has POR, so that's what I'm gonna do today. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get all this area right here, all this area, we're gonna treat it and paint it. And also, I'm gonna get some filler. I'm gonna get some filler. I'm gonna fill some of these uh, areas because I'm gonna prep this for, let me get this light on. So I'm going to prep, get it all prepped for the uh, paint. Uh, so my plan is, my plan is to uh, hit all the areas that need to be hit, yeah, hit with uh, PR. It's not, it's not much. It's underneath the, the fenders. And it's going to be inside the door, on the bottom of the doors, and this area, this area back here. And then after that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my uh, uh, paint. I got I got a pretty nice color paint here. It's gonna be this this color right here. If you see it, that same color. So I have that color. It, it's not. Let me see what this is. I think this is pure. This is pure 15. Uh, there's only a little bit left. Let me see if I can see the color right here, nice and right there. And I have about a quart or so. So this color was uh, um, was made a while ago, and this color I try to match the uh, horizon blue, this horizon blue to it, and it's it's very close it's very close it's not the closest but it's very close so what i'm gonna do is after i i do that uh i'm gonna paint all this car underneath all the jams what they call the jams so i'm gonna call paint all these jams right here the 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 roof of the car i'm gonna paint all this stuff right here right even because even if uh I don't put any um, any carpet panels or whatever for the time being. It's gonna look good, okay? So I'm gonna paint all this jam. And I'll paint the, the inside of the of the trunk lid and all this stuff. And then after that, I will put the frame or the car back on the frame. And that is what I gotta do because I need to move forward with this. I'm trying to be, I've been trying to find somebody to paint it and I don't find anybody, but at least I'm going to do that and I'm going to get that painted. So that way it's a, it's a step ahead. So, and I'm going to also do the, uh, around the window seals because that way I can probably put the windows and then, you know, we can paint it later on when it's back on the frame, but I can at least do the underneath of the car and I need to buy I need to buy something uh for for the gravel and stuff like that underneath it so all right let's stop talking and let's get all right, to it folks I've uh, been hard at work and I uh I did all the sanding and I use I use a uh my DA sander where is it and I use it. I used a uh, a soft soft pad. Uh, this is I think the bad boys here somewhere. Uh, oh, right there. So let me show you what I use. So because now we're hitting contours. So all those rip, all those ripples and stuff. It's really hard for when you have a a hard. Uh, you see. This is what I'm talking about. You see it? 
So I got that one, I got that one, and I got this one that is harder. So this one I would use to to do the surfaces, like the straight surfaces, but for those contours, I use that one. And uh, I sanded most of it, and it looks really good. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna hit a couple spots uh, with, uh, with some uh, body filler, like right here. I had to straighten this out because it was all bent. So now I gotta, I gotta do some body filler here and and square it away. I gotta do some over here, uh, and then but I'm gonna do some over here because what I'm doing is I'm gonna do all the jams. Uh, so all that stuff has got to get painted. All this jams over here has got to be get painted. So and I sanded this as good as I could. And it, it turned out pretty nice. So, so now what I gotta do is uh, do the filler. And after I do the filler, I gotta do right here just to make it pretty. Cause uh, it's, it's, that's where I put a patch there because it was really weak. So I put a patch and that's where the previous person did the clip, the front clip on it. So, but everything is squared away. So, I, I don't know how, well, not that I don't know how to do the filler, I just, I don't like it, and it never turns out the way I want it, but I'm not going to do body panels. The only thing I'm going to do is, is this hidden areas, because I want to hit those and get it uh, squared away and get all this, uh, all this interior painted. So that way, after I get the, the interior painted, I can start you know, getting the stuff in it, like the, the door uh, uh, mechanism and all this stuff. So let's get to it. All right, folks, don't know what I'm doing, but I got that covered. Looks okay. And uh, little pinholes there. And I decided to put some right there, so. Uh, I got this right here. I cleaned it with my, uh, uh, cleaned it with the, uh, air grinder. And so it's a uh, bare metal, so it should be all right. And now we're going to sand and see how it's going to turn out. All right, folks, uh, here we are. We are still working and, uh, still putting mud so i'm just i'm just trying to fill this uh, ugly spots there's some ugly spots and uh that's been there for a long time and i'm not no professional on this stuff so it's but it's turning out pretty good you know, i just did this right here and then it, it's nice and smooth i got i did this side i, I gotta fill just a little more uh but uh, there was a little um, a little pinholes going down this way, uh, just like these right here. So I'm gonna, I took those and I'm just gonna sand it here in a second. Uh, did this right here and it turned out really nice. This right here as well. And all of these. So now I'm putting mud back here. And I got my little gauge right there. So I've been, I went and, and got the uh, measurement for that, from that beetle over there. And, and it seems like it's, it's, I'm getting a straighter panel. So, eh, it's getting there. So I'll keep you posted. people 
Uh, so today, I I started working on the butt on you know the the fifty seven's body, and it's hot. It's really hot. Anyways, uh, and I've I've done a little bit of a you know uh, bondo or body filler before, but never you know on a panel and stuff like that. But look at this, man. It's, come on, it's not perfect, I know, but it's getting there. Uh, I got my little gauge over here, and, and it's got the, it's got the curve, and, and it's, it's pretty all right. It, it's got, it needs a little bit more, but right there, it needs a little bit more. Down here is good. Right there, you see it? Just a little bit, just feather it. Just feather it. Just right here, this line right here needs to be just feather. And that's uh, that's what I'm trying to do. Just, but it's it's looking really good. So, like I said before, I got the little corner. I still need to finish that right there. But I got that, and I got this right here, and I got this stuff right here. Uh. And I got this. I need to do a little bit of, you know, working right here. But over here, what? It really doesn't need a whole lot of filling. Really, it doesn't. It's just, uh, it just needs to be smoothed out. That's that's all it is. It just needs to be smooth because, you know, it's just. Uh, it looks better. I'm gonna do probably tomorrow. I'm gonna do this right here. I'm gonna get it all nice and cleaned up. Uh, I just wanna, I just want it to, you know, like I like I did here, you see, and it's nice and and smooth. So when 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 we get paint on it, it's just gonna look really good. Uh, I went in and and uh, and got the uh, and stripped it, all that stuff right there. Got it all to the bare metal and got it stripped. Uh, here I just feather it because I fixed the uh the holes for the there was an antenna hole there I fixed where I filled them and now they're fixed. So I'm very happy. I'm very happy uh and I'm gonna continue I fixed this that this thing was a little it was indented so I got it fixed so it looks really good. But it doesn't really have any, uh, a whole bunch of, you know, work, body work. Right back here, it needs a little bit just to smooth this out. Uh, here, this is where most of the work with the body filler is going to be. So we got to do a little layers and then just uh, feather it to get it, to get it to, to get smooth. On this side, I only have this right here. Got to fix that, and and uh, the other thing that is going to be bad is going to be the fenders and the uh, the hood, the hood defenders and the deck lid, because this deck lid is, is beat up. And look at that, it's beat up. I took it out and I fixed most of it, but I didn't have the English wheel at the time, and I wish I had because I could have I could have fixed all these bumps. But I, I put it back together, I welded it, and I really don't want to take it apart again. So I guess I have to work with that. And the hood. Uh, the hood has, you can tell, it's got little pinholes all over the place. Uh, so I got to get that done. Other than that, fenders, we'll see, we'll see. I'll keep, I keep, I'll, I'll keep trucking. And hopefully I get the body done. You know, if I get the body done, I, I'll probably go ahead and paint it. So, uh, the door, I'm waiting for the door skin. I'll put a new door skin because this door skin sucks. It's all warped. I'm sweating really bad. The door is all warped, so I don't want it. So, <laughs> I had that stuck. A little piece of bondo stuck with the 
in my hair. So uh, I sanded it completely and we're ready to roll. So I think I'm just gonna keep it like that. I'm gonna wash it, uh, or I'm sorry, with uh, 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 paint prep, get it all washed and clean and ready to go. And then after that, I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna epoxy seal the inside completely and then I'm going to paint it. I'm gonna paint the whole interior, everything, all the door jams and uh, the, the, the trunk, inside the trunk, inside the engine compartment, all that stuff. Everything's gonna get painted. So just stay tuned for that. So I'll see you later. Bye.